Hey guys, today this video is going to show you how to make Miss Santa. For this project, we only need two parts. We're going to set the red arrows point to your right. So this open area should tour your right. First, we're going to start it from the bottom and go all the way up here. And this, we're going to make it separate. Now we're going to start it from her skirt. The first layer is going to be white. So we're going to take one white. Twist it into figure 8. Go on this way for 8 times. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. After you have 8 times on the bottom, we're going to go up. And then go all the way back here and cross up here. And this is the first layer. Next, I'm going to use red. Only this first layer you need to twist into figure 8. After this, you don't need to twist anymore. Just press single band. On top of here, go all the way and come back here. Now until we have two layers, we're going to loop the bottom layer move it inside bottom layer, move it inside and go all the way and come back here Next, we're going to repeat this last layer, the red one, and eight, nine more layers. So total, we're going to have ten layers of red. Just use single band and go all the way, come back here and loop the band. So now you can pause your video and finish adding nine more layers and I will see you when you're done. Now, you should have one layer of white and ten layers of red. So total, we have 11 layers on our room. Next, we're going to move in one peg on each side right here. So we're going to take this two band, move in one peg, bring the bottom layer. After you move in, you should have four bands on this peg. So we're going to bring the bottom layer inside and do the same thing on the bottom here. Take these two bands, bring it in here, take the bottom layer, move it inside. Repeat this step, do it on this side. Take these two bands, move in here, bring the bottom layer inside. Take these two bands in here, bring the bottom layer inside. Next, we're going to add one more layer of red in this area. Just take one single band, go all the way around, come back here and loop the band. Now, 
Next there, we're going to move one more peg from each side. The same like last time, take these two pen, move in one peg, bring the bottom there, inside, and repeat this step, do it on the bottom here. Bring it in one peg, take the bottom there, inside. And repeat this step, do it on this side. Move in one peg, bring the bottom there, inside. Move in one peg, bottom there, inside. Now for the next six there, this is the upper body. In this area, we're going to add six more layers in this area. Just take one single pen and go all the way around, come back here and loop the pen. So now you can pause your videos and finish your six there. I will see you when you're done. Okay, now we have eight six more there on her upper body. Now I'm going to start making her arm. If you already made my Christmas sweater, they are the same way. I'm making her arm. So now we're going to start making her arm on the side here. For the beginning of this part, if you want her to wear a glove, you can use white. If you don't want her to wear a glove, you can use skin color. It will be the same color you use for her face. Today I'm going to use white. So it will look like she is wearing the glove. So I'm going to take one single white, twist it into two loops, and place it right here. Take another pen, twist it into two loops, twist into figure 8. So for the arm, we're going to use these four pegs. Make sure you have space between the body and arm, right here. No pen right here. So for the next two layers, I'm going to use white. Using single pen, going around this four peg. Bring the bottom layer inside. Bottom there, inside. Take one more there. Bring the bottom there, inside. Bottom there, inside. So now total we have three layers of white. Next, we're going to use red. Take one single pen. One single pen, cover this whole peg. Take the bottom there, way inside. Bottom there, way inside. Same thing on this side. Now total we're going to add 10 layers of red. It's going over this four peg. So we already have one there, and this is second layer of red. So now you can pass your videos. Total, we're going to need 10 layers of red. And this is two, one, two. So after this layer, we're going to need eight more layers. And I will see you when you're done. Now we have 10 layers of red. Next layer, we're going to change the pattern. We're going to take one single pen, going along between these four pegs. And take the bottom there, move inside, bottom there, move inside. And we're going to repeat this there and add one more. The same, take one single pen, going around this four peg. Okay, then we add two more layers, single pen all the way around. Now we finish this arm, we're going to repeat this step and make another arm on this side using this four peg. Make sure you won't connect them together, you have a space right here. So we're going to use this four peg. The same like the other one, start it from one white pen, twist it into two loops.
இதை நான் அடைப்பேன் செகண்ட் டே சிங்க பேன் கோனர் வாங்கிஸ் ஃபோர் பேக் Okay, one more there. So now we have three layers of white. We're going to have ten layers of red. Take single pen, cover this four pack for ten layers. And after ten layers, add two more layers. Single pen, go in around. And then you'll be done. So now you can pass your videos. Go ahead and finish this arm. And I will see you when you're done. Okay, now we have finished two arms. We're going to connect this arm to the body. We're going to take this two. Move it in here. Take this two. Move it in here. And repeat this step. Do it on this side. Take this two band. Move in one peg. Take this two band. Move in one peg. Now after we connect arm to the body, we're going to fill in one more layer. This layer, we're only going to do this area. One, two, three, four, five. Five on the bottom and five on the top. And only top and bottom. So take one single band. Start it from here. We're going to skip these two. One, two, three, third pegs from your left. Two, three, and four. Four times on the bottom. And four on the top. One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna do the bottom there. This time, bottom there on the corner here, you should have four bands. So bend all four, move inside. And here, bottom there has two. Bottom there has two. Two. And here on the corner is four. So bring all four in here. Repeat this step. Do it on the top here. On the corner has four band. Bring it all four. So the corner peg should only have one band left after you looped it. Bring the bottom there is four pen. More inside. Okay. Now next there, we're gonna move in this two peg to here. This is the rest of the arm. Gonna move it in here. Bring this two. Move it in here. The same on this side, bring in this arm, move it in here, bring in this two, move it in here. Okay, next there, we're only gonna work on this area. Next there, I'm gonna use white. This will be this area on its neck area. So I'm gonna add a cap band on its band. So you will have a little design on the neck area here. So I'm gonna take one single white, twist it, one, two, three. So you will see four loops here. Take one single band, bring it in here. Then repeat this step, go all the way, come back here.
Okay, after we fill in this layer, I'm gonna loop the bottom there, move it inside, bottom there, move it inside. And go all the way around, come back here. You see there's different colors, so it's easy to tell. Okay, after we finish, we're gonna move in one peg on the side, one peg on this side. The same way. Take this two band, move in one peg, bring the bottom there inside. Move in this one peg, bring the bottom there inside. Move this in one peg, bring the bottom there inside. Move one peg, bring the bottom there inside. Okay, after we're done, we're gonna turn it inside out. So we wanna keep the arm inside. So we can take the arm, move it from here, take it inside. You can do this part after you're done. You can still do it, but it will be easier to do it now. There's a little hole over there. So we just move the arm inside. Keep it inside. Next, we're gonna start working on her neck area. For the head, I'm gonna use skin color in the front and white on the back. And then after we're done, we make her hair piece or head to cover her head. So now we're gonna work in on her neck. So I'm gonna take one single skin color, go all the way around, come back here. Bring the bottom there, inside, bottom there, inside. Take one more layer of skin color. This will be still her neck. Same, bring the bottom layer inside. Go all the way around, come back here. Next, we're gonna start working on her head area. So we're gonna expand out again. Take the top band, move out one peg. 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 Next there, I'm gonna start adding white band for her hair on the top here. So this there, I'm only gonna use four white bands. Two, three, four. And the rest of it, skin color. Loop the bottom there, go inside, bottom there, inside, bottom there, inside, go all the way around, come back here. Okay, after we finish this there, I'm gonna add her mouth in here. For the mouth, if you wanna, if you want her to look like she's smiling, we're gonna take one red band, twist it only one time. 
so you only make two loops but if you want her mouse to look smaller like this then you loop it four times make it four loop so the mouse will look smaller like this but today I'm gonna make it looks like it's smiling like this one so I'm only gonna loop two times like this place mouse on the center peg here if you count it from the side one two three on this side one two three so take out these two pen move in this red pen and put it back in here now for the next layer I'm gonna add white pen on this area and bottom area is skin color so we're gonna press skin color first one two three and four the rest of it one in the bottom there inside and go all the way around come back here now if you want to add her cheek this part you don't have to do this part this part is optional if you're gonna add her cheek, you'll be right here. We're gonna add it on here. For the cheek, I'm gonna use one pin, twist it, one, two, three. So you will see four rings. Take this two pin out, put it in here, and put it back on this peg. And we're gonna repeat this step, make one more right here. So take one pin bang, twist it, one, two, three. So you will see four rings. Take out these two bands, bring it in here, and put it back in here. Now we're gonna add one more there. Skin color on this bottom four. One, two, three, four. White for the rest of the area. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Loop the bottom there, go inside, go all the way around, come back here. Next there, we're going to add her eyes right here. For the eyes, today I'm going to use B. And if you don't have B, you can use black band. If you want to use band, take one single black, twist it, one, two, three. Make it into four loop. Take one skin color, bring it in here, and press right here. Repeat this step and make another eyes, press right here. Today, I'm going to use B, so I'm going to take this off. Take one B and one band. Pull it through like this. Press right here. For this B, you can get it in your local art store. I get it from AC Moore. One box comes with a whole bunch. Now take another B, pull it through, place right here. So now we have two eyes. We're going to use skin color on here, skin color on here. Place of it, white, all the way back here.
take the bottom layer, go inside, go all the way around, come back here. Okay, now we're going to add one more layer of four skin color on the bottom, rest of it, a white. Four band, skin color, this, the rest of it, a white. This skin color looks like white on the screen, but this four is a skin color. So make sure you press skin color on the bottom. And the same, loop the bottom layer, go inside, go all the way around, come back here. Next there, we're going to move these two pegs in here, move these two in here. The same like before, take these two, move in here, bring the bottom there inside. Take these two, move in here, bring the bottom there, move inside. Repeat this step. Do it on this side. Okay, next there, I'm only gonna press these two bands, skin color, rest of it, white. Do the bottom there, go inside. Okay, after this, I'm gonna add one more layer, all white, all the way. White, single pen. Go all the way around, come back here. Make sure no more skin color on the bottom here, all white, and it's there. Okay, now we're done with our mesh center. Gonna take one regular hook, collect all the band. One single pen, bring everything to. If you have those bands that break easy, please use two so you won't break on you and everything falling apart. After all this work, you will be very upset. Now tie a knot here. Make sure you tie it really tight so you won't come undone. Okay, now we're gonna turn this inside out. Now we're done. So now we're gonna use fiber fill, fill inside. Okay, for the head here, I'm gonna take a small piece. Fill the head first. We don't want to overfill the head, so, you won't, so her head won't be too big. That's about right size. Now we're gonna fill in the body. 
the upper body is smaller than the bottom so when I feel it it will be less than the bottom turn this all the way up and then fill in the waist inside the skirt and squeeze it make it to the way that looks better now we're done with the body it won't look so good it without a hair piece so now we're gonna make the head or hair piece for her so we'll make her look prettier so for this part I'm gonna make it by hook I'm gonna take one single band twist it one two so I'll make it into three loop take one single band bring it through take another band we're gonna make a major circle first. For this major circle, we're gonna make eight stitch, and this is first one. And this is first one on the border. So we're gonna make a marker on here, so you won't get confused when you come back here. This is a marker, so you can use any color you like. Just to remind us, this is the first on the border. So when we make a circle all the way back here, we know this is where we're going to connect from the last one to this first one. So now, take your hook through this center point, take another band, bring it through. One more band, this is the border. So we're going to bring everything through. Hook your hook through back to this cap band. Take one band, bring it through. Second band is border, so bring everything through. So now we have three times. Total, we're gonna need eight times. So you can pause your videos and make five more times. And I will see when you're done. Okay, now we have eight. We're gonna remove this marker. Hook your hook through here and take one single band, bring it through. Connect this first and last one on the border. So we're gonna hide this one. This one's first band for the next layer. Hide it and let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bands on the border. So next there, each stitch, I'm gonna make two times. So for the next layer, after you're done, you will have 16 on the border. So this is first one. Second band will be the border. This will be the first border for this second layer. So we're gonna make a marker on. Again, this is just a marker. We're gonna take it off later. Put your hook back to this border. Since now each stitch we're gonna make two times. So this is first time for first stitch. So we're gonna take your hook through this first stitch. Do one more time. Second band is border, so bring everything through. So now we have two times for this first stitch. So we're gonna move on to second one. Take your hook through, second stitch on the border, take one single band, bring it through, put both ends on your hook. Second band is border, so we're going to bring everything through, put both ends on your hook. This stitch only have one time, so we're going to do one more time on this same stitch. Take one single band, bring it through. Second one is border, bring everything through. 
So now we have four times. One, two, three, four. So now you can repeat each step. Each stitch you do two times. And go all the way around, come back here. And total on the border, when you're done, it should have 16 on the border. So now you can pass your videos, finish this second layer. I will see you when you're done. Okay, now we have finished our second layer. We're going to remove this marker. Forget her to this first on the border where we press the marker on. So we're going to connect this first and last on the border. So take one single pin, bring it to. So this pin will be the next layer, so we're going to hide it. So let's count to see if you get 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we got 16 on the border. Now next layer, 1 to 1. So each stitch, we only need to do one time. So after you're done, you will have 16 stitch on the border. This second band is border, so make a marker. Since only one to one, so this is the first one for the first stitch. So now we're going to move on to the second stitch on the border, will be this one. One, two. Put your hook through. Take this single pin, bring it through. Put both ends on your hook. Take another pin, bring everything through. Move on to the next stitch. Next stitch. And repeat this step one to one. Each stitch only do one time. And go all the way, come back here. Then I will see when you're done. Okay, now we finish another layer. I'm gonna remove this marker. Put your hook to this very first on the border. Connect this first and last one. Bring it through. Okay, now we have finished this part. So we're going to tie a knot here and finish up here. You can hide this part inside so you won't see it. On outside, put the air hook through somewhere close by. Just hide it inside. Now we're going to make this top part. For the top part, I'm going to take one single band, twist only one time. So you see two loops, do this for five times. Two, three, four, and five. Five times, take one single band, bring everything through, put both and on your hook. Take one single band. This time we're gonna twist one time. So this band you will have two rings on it. Bring it through, put both in on your hook. Take one more band, bring it through, tie a knot here. Now we're gonna connect these two pieces together, put your hook to the center point. Right here, and put this piece, bring it through, and pull it, pull it all the way through here, like this. So you will connect pretty good, it won't come up pretty steady. So now we're gonna make a decoration here. You can make a little piece, just one, or I make it three. It's up to you, or you can do it whichever decoration you like to make. I'm just going to make a simple one. So, take one red band, twist it, one, two times. So you will see four rings. 
Take another red pen, trace it only one time. So you will see two rings. Bring this first pen in here. Put both ends on your hook. Take one green pen. Bring this piece in here. So now you can take this, put it on your finger, and just drop it around on top of this top area. And just repeat this step and do it whichever time that you like to do. I make three times. You can make three or four or just one. It looks good too. So I'm gonna do two more times. Make four loop first. Take one single pen. Make two loop. Bring it through. Put both sand on your hook. Take one green pen. Bring it through. Put both sand on your hook. And put it on your finger. And rub it along. Part. Like this. So now we have two. Two would do. If you want to add another piece. Take one single band, make it into four loop. Take another one. Second band, make it two loop. Pin it through. Put both ends on your hook. Take one green band, pin it through. And just rub it along in here. Okay, so that should be enough. So I'm just going to put this on top of her head. So you would add like hair piece or head, whatever you want to call it. But after this piece, it looks much better. If you want to add this piece right here, now I'm going to show you how to make this one. Today I'm going to use white. You can use any other color you like. For this, I'm going to use hook to make it as well. Take one single band, make it into two loops. Take another band, make it like you're making single chain for seven times. So this is two, three, four, five, Six and seven. This is seven times for a single chain. But actually, for this, the Y, we only need five times. So for this last two, we're going to fold it so you'll be called up. So this pen will be the first one on the border for next there. You can make a marker here so you won't get confused on here if you need marker. So this one will be the first band on the bottom here. So we're going to start it from this band. This, if you count it from here, will be one, two, three, four. Fourth on the top here. Put your hook through. Take one single band, bring it through. Another band, bring everything through. Move up to next pen. Take one single pen, bring it through. Another pen, bring everything through. Move on to next stitch. Take one single pen, bring it through. Another pen, bring everything through. Next one, single pen, bring it through, second pen, bring everything through, okay, now we have one, two, three, four, five, so 
So now we have one, two, three, four, five. Five stitch for this there. Now we're gonna make second there. So take one pen. This will be second there. And second there on the border. So now we have two times for second there. So we're gonna take this out, put the hook in from the other side. So now this two is second there. So this one will be for the first bend on the border. So next we're gonna make to the next one on the border. One, two. If you need to make a marker, you should make it here. Let's go ahead and make a marker just in case you need it. If you can tell, you don't need to make marker. Now come back here. So this be the first one on the border for this there. So we're gonna move on to the next next one right here. Put in these two. Take another pen. Put in everything two. Move on to the next stitch. Put in everything two. Next one. Next one. Okay. Now the border you should have one, two, three, four, five. Five on the border. So now we're gonna make next there. Total we need three layers. We have two layers now. So take another pen. This one will be the next there for the first one. Border. Make your marker here. And turn it around. So this very first time is for this first pen on the border. So now we're going to move on to this one. It looks like a single chain. So if you count it from here, it should be one, two, three, four. The fourth band on the top here. Put your hook through. Bring it through. Border. Bring everything through. Next one. Next one. Next. Okay, this is the last one, so we can remove this part. So now if you count it right here, you should have five. One, two, three, four, five. Five on the top. So now we have finished this part. We're going to continue to make a single chain so you can go all the way here and use secret to create on it. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to make seven times for a single chain. So this is one. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So at the seven, put it on your finger. Now we can take it one C quick. To click to this very first one on the border here. So now you can connect these two 
together. Take the secret. Create on this end. This is a loose end, so make sure you don't lose it. And then on the other side, click to this pen that has marker on. Like this. Now you can take this marker out. And then straighten out. You will look better. Okay. This is just a simple one. You can make it into different colors so it looks much better. But today, this video is super long already. So I'm just going to make a simple one. So now we have finished our mid center. Make sure you have her hair piece on or head on so you will look much better. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make the glasses for her. If you want to make one for her, I think with glasses looks a lot cuter but it's optional it's up to you so I'm gonna use this gold wire you can put this at as you more my clothes just take this and you're gonna need one of this let's use a point and make a ring kind of like a, you're making jam ring and you can eyeball the size maybe a little bit bigger than the jam roll okay so i think that's big enough we're gonna have a space maybe like this big and then make another jam ring like that now we can bend this we can cut this up first so you won't be in a way that will be easier now we just need bend this make it look like glass And now we're going to cut this shorter, we don't need this long. Cut it up. Cut it up. So now we have a little cue glasses for our mid center. And put this on this side. Okay, now our mid center has glasses. If you like my video, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.